Hi, welcome to my channel. So a quick, I say sit down video. Yeah, the chums just sat on the floor. Um, so yeah, welcome. Um, welcome to those people that come back. Welcome to those that come here for the first time. I um, would absolutely love it if you would subscribe to my channel, click the bell notification you know, when I've uploaded a new video. I try to do it at the weekends, but it can be a little bit hit and miss. So click on that bell notification and you know exactly when. I'm hoping for there to be some exciting handbag related news soon. Anyway, so today is an unboxing and a relatively quick unboxing. So bear with me one moment. Right, sorry, text messages came through. Husband is at the supermarket, need a little bit of guidance. Right, so the unboxing. We have, I think kind of a gift for me and kind of a gift for Miss Birkin here. Um, I'm not using a ring light to try and get the most accurate colours, but I'd still say she looks a little bit brighter on camera than normal. So, tell a bit of backstory and then I will get straight into this, I promise. So, and I think, particularly given the news that came out yesterday about Caroline Flack, which is just, you know, devastating to face. It's bad people never met her, never knew her. Yeah, it wasn't a fan. It's just tragic. And for friends and family, the most horrific thing. And I think it goes to show the power of external forces and what that can do. And in my own life, not unprepared to at all, but um, basically, in my own life, um, doing this channel having some trolling, it kind of led me to notice things about myself that perhaps I hadn't noticed as external flaws as much as possible. So anyway, I ended up at the dentist, is, is where I ended up. And um, basically I was sick of comments about why don't you fix your teeth, sort your teeth out. This is them now. They're not that bad. Anyway, so the dentist I went to in the city was a 30 second walk from Hermes. That's how we got there. So, I've been looking online because following, watching a YouTube video from someone, I'm so sorry whoever they are, I think they're big and wouldn't care less anyway whether I've watched or not or could remember who they were. Um, they had this item. And then more recently I was watching a video by Mel in Melbourne, who is fantastic and I find her videos so informative and she had one of these and I was like I want to get me one of them I was looking online they're going you know warning to those people pre-loved going for much more than they are um Hermes boutique retail so went to my local boutique spoke to my SA and we were in there looking at some other stuff and then I was like have you got one of these he came back with this box, which was completely covered in cellophane, and I was beyond excited and just looked at it, fell in love, and bought it there and then. So let's unbox together because I've had this now for, I'll say three days. I've had this now for three days and it's killing me. So, I mean, I just, I'm a sucker for an orange box, what can I say? So there is the lovely ribbon. Take the lid off, and we have a clue as to what it is. So that's an accessory de sac orange. Um, it is not a toy for children, not suitable for children under 14 years of age. No kids going remotely near this. So, here is the tissue paper. I know. It's a small box and there's like not much in it. Right. So there it is. So I got myself a miniature, a miniature Hermes shopping bag as a bag charm. Or the I'll tell you exactly what it's called in the receipt in a second. So here you've got this lovely tan coloured strap and then is it the same on both yeah same on both sides you've got that Hermes branding love the detail this little handle and all the stitching 
around the side, even, look, I mean, look at the base. So, yeah, loving that detail. And Mel in Melbourne has got almost the same Birkin as me. Hers is actually Magnolia, not, um, I actually say Rose Poop, Rose Poopre, not the same as this, but they are very, very similar colours. The Magnolia is actually brighter and this has a little bit more of a purple undertone, hence the name. It looks a lot more purple on camera than it actually is. So I have been having this little rodeo, rodeo on, which I love, which also has this same Rose Poopre cut in his tail. So we're going to take him off. We'll call him a him, it could be a her. I mean, there's obviously not going to be anything to tell. So we'll take that off. And then what I thought I would do, I said to show you, look, look. What I thought I would do is to add my clochette, which I have in the dust bag. I've just been keeping the clochette that came with the bag in the dust bag inside the box and everything. Because Miss Birkenwood not being used, just, just have a rest in her box as advised by my essay. So yeah, I may, I think, add my crochet on there. But I don't think I'm going to do the padlock because it's a little bit heavy. So I'm just going to remove that. And then let's just go with the left handle. So there she's with her little clochette on. And what I thought would look nice would be that, and then also at the same time, my new little bag charm. So when I looked at Mel's actually on her Instagram, she wrapped this around a couple of times. Let's try that. So I'm guessing she did that to get that different height. But again, you know, you can do it and play around with it. So, there it is. I may have it a bit longer. I'll, like I say, I shall play around and see. But I just thought it was nice having the two bits together. I get the strap out of the way. Sorry, the sangle. Um, there we go. So that's it. Um, Miss Birkin is looking extra dressed up. Um, any questions, let me know. Um, just a bit of information. Next season when they're doing these, they're going to continue these bag charms, but they're not, so I was told, they're not going to be doing them in the orange. They're actually going to be in the rose poop, rose poop ray. Um, I obviously wanted the contrast. I didn't want the same. And um, yeah, I've got the colour shirt in the same. And, you know, I've got the both poop prey on the little rodeo. So, yeah. This is her, all dressed up and looking beautiful, as she is. Bye. Okay, so in my excitement, I didn't share the details on the receipt with you. So I will show you now exactly what the description is hopefully you can see that there so yeah this is the accessory to sack it's the sack orange pm agno milo vu swift so i'm guessing that's swift leather um so yeah and the two leather colors are few so orange and gold which is why this is such a beautiful tan so those are the official names Sorry, I got so excited, and I mentioned about the, um, the the prices. So, in the UK, from the Hermes boutique, these are three hundred and fifty-five pounds. So, if you do see them selling at a premium, just be wary. Just just know what you're doing. So, know if you're you know if you're prepared to pay more because you can't get hold of one because I'm not sure how easy they are to get hold of, then just just do it knowingly would be my advice. I have um, I think I paid just over retail 
when I bought this one, but literally 10 to 20 pounds over retail. And I could get one, the PM size are really hard to get hold of. So I was okay with that, I did it knowingly, it was in really good condition, I trusted the seller. So yeah, that was all I was gonna say. Um, I just love it, I absolutely love it. I saw it and fell in love with it and was trying not to spend money, which was why it was my first trip to Hermes this year. Although my husband did point out to me that we're still only February. But anyway. Trudy this time, for me and Miss Birkin, and little Liddy Weenie Sack, it is um, goodbye, I hope you come back, see my channel soon, I hope you subscribe, and uh, yeah, bye.